We have uh, one individual for you this morning who was the highlight of our evening when British Army soldier Fusilier Lee Rigby was murdered 10 years ago. His son Jack was just a toddler, now 13 years old. Jack has been awarded Good Morning Britain's Fundraiser of the Year at the awards last night. He came up with a challenge to mark the 10th anniversary of his dad's death to raise £250 by walking a marathon in a month, but incredibly, Jack's total has now reached over £107,000. After Jack received the award, we spoke to him backstage. So, very excited. You are our young fundraiser, Pride of Britain winner, Jack. How does it feel? It feels like a dream. It feels incredible. I feel so honoured to be able to have this award. And to be able to reach the fundraising goal. Yes! And you've now raised, thanks to Tim from GoFundMe, from Duncan, from the Mirror Readers, from TSB, from Pride of Britain, you've now raised over £107,000. Can you believe it? It's an insane amount of money. <laughs> <laughs> now, does that mean you stop? Or does now, do you think, right, I've got to keep going now. If I've raised 107, why don't we raise more? I think that now I'm going to be keeping going oh, and trying not to stop. Baby. Amazing. Mum, what does this mean for you? Is it obviously there's a emo big emotional story yes, yeah, behind obviously. all of this, isn't there? It has been an emotional evening. Um, I'm immensely proud of Jack and what he's done. And I've always said I didn't want what happened to Lee to define Jack's life, and I wanted him to to live the childhood he, that he deserved to live, and I wanted him to, to go on and do something good. Um, I never dreamed that, obviously, he'd, he'd raise this amount of money for charity, and I think as it, as it racked up in the early days, we were absolutely astonished, weren't we, at the amount that... That you, you were raising? 250 pounds was quite a lot initially. Yeah. Well, <laughs> when I set, I set the page up and it, it kind of automatically defaulted at 250, and Jack said, oh, Mum, that's a lot of money. So we're not going to raise 250 pounds. <laughs> and then we smashed that target, and I then amended it to 1,000. He was like, Oh, no, never, never. We hit the 250, we're not going to hit the 1,000. And then when we hit the 1,000, he went, We've got for 1,000 pounds for every year, so 10,000 pounds. <laughs> We're not going to hit it though, but we'll try. Um, and yeah, it just it just kept going, didn't it? And to raise ten thousand for every year is just absolutely amazing, and it's just for such an amazing charity that have have been there since well a few months after um, we lost Lee. I registered Jack with Scotties, and he's been a proud member ever since. Uh, even named one of our dogs after them. <laughs> really? <laughs> what does so? What do you? What, is, what have Scotties and the charity done for you, Jack, and, and other children of, of servicemen and women? The, they're always there for you, and they like create a connection with other people that are in the same situation as you. So, I like play online with people from Scotties okay. and I keep contact with people from Scotties and it's created friendships between people and it is it does show you what other people feel like that are in the same situation. Amazing. And what was it like Jack to have that guard of honour from the Royal Fusiliers, your dad's regiment? It felt very proud to have that and it felt good to be able to show that they were there. So look, 107,000, what's next? What's the challenge going to be? Another marathon? Two marathons? I don't know. We were actually talking about it in the last couple of days and he said, I don't know what we're going to do next. What are we going to do next? And yeah, we're still not sure, but I'm sure this is not the last. <laughs> I'm sure Scotty's will have some great ideas. And you're going to do whatever it is that you put your mind to, I don't doubt you're going to absolutely smash. Jack, it's been such a privilege to meet you. Thank you for, for being here and doing everything that you've done because you truly are the pride of Britain. Well done. Thank you. Kevin, Andrew, I mean, it, it, you know, in a world of darkness and considering what happened to his dad, yeah. he, it just, he is the pride of Britain, isn't he? He really is. What a smashing boy. And his dad would be so proud of him, wouldn't he? Yeah. And his mum, you can see how proud his mum is. Um, terrific story. I w well I was, done, Pride yeah, of Britain. Yeah, I, I was very sorry not to be able to go last night. It's on ITV Thursday, isn't it? But it... It's, it's always uplifting, it's inspiring, but it's also very, very humbling. Yeah. Because they are, as you say, the pride of Britain. And the stars aren't the people from showbiz, TV, film, uh, sport, you know, the, the big names. I think Shirley Bassey was there. 
you know, you're all, you know, that lot, you lot, have all, you know, achieved huge, huge, uh, you know, things in your life, but the stars are those ordinary people who are extraordinary. And they've, they've gone the extra mile and they're selfless and, you know, you just hear him talking there and you... It pulls at your heartstrings again, just knowing what happened to his father, but, you know, he's, he's trying to bring something good out of something that yeah. was absolutely terrible. Absolutely right. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, Kevin and Amazing. Andrew, thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. I've got to say, that interview was really, Definitely. really lovely. You Wasn't invented. it? Oh, honestly. His, the the lad's humility, his authenticity, but actually yeah. his... Her determination and his mum's pride. I know. Very, very Lovely boy. powerful. You can watch the full ceremony on Thursday, the 12th of October, on ITV1 and ITVX. Yeah. And I've got to tell you, having been there, it's really, really worth it. It is something special, 8 o'clock on Thursday.